probably the rains are going to subside in another three weeks or so. But uh, because of climate change, weather has also become an un uh, unpredictable phenomenon. Uh, we cannot predict the weather with the kind of regularity that you would wish uh, to do. Uh, but the uh, case uh, being that of uh, human suffering and uh, destruction of property and the flooding of uh, farmlands, uh, we have to make certain interventions to make sure that our people don't suffer. Um, uh, one of the points that was made, which I think is important uh, to note, uh, because of the backflow from uh, Lake Victoria, uh, there are a lot of activi activities along the, um, the lakefront which have been affected adversely, uh, and more so some of our water projects uh, and, and uh, dams and uh, pumps, water pumps along the lake. Quite a number of them have been submerged. Even away from the lake, a place like Maona Dam, you know, um, the, the pumps uh, have been uh, um, uh, flooded and they take a lot, a lot of time and interventions to make the situation back to come back to normal. Uh, what we are uh, hoping is that uh, with more and more awareness about climate change, uh, we, we should plan uh, ahead knowing that uh, vagaries of the weather are going to continue with us until we make this smart uh, climate action uh, to make sure that uh, uh, such flooding uh, do not affect our, our people uh, in terms of damage to property, uh, damage to our farmland and uh, loss of lives or displacement. I must say, generally compared to last year, although we are experience, experiencing enhanced rainfall uh, throughout the Republic, but I must say compared to the long rains last year, the number of displacements so far, I'm not saying the situation is not going to change, but the number of displacements so far are not as high as they were last year. We don't have many people in camps. In fact, uh, most of the people who have been affected uh, have taken refuge uh, in homes of relatives and friends or um, um, uh, other people have moved to, uh, to shopping centers, hiring um, uh, premises uh, to occupy as we wait for the rain to subside. Uh, but I do not want to say that we should bring down our guard. I think we should still be on our guard. Um, we also know that our agriculture is going to be affected adversely because this is a plowing and planting and harrowing season. Uh, if the rains continue in certain areas, um, in Lower, lower Zoya or Lower Yala River and around uh, the Yala Delta, um, our agricultural produce are going to be affected uh, substantially. Uh, but today, as we flag off uh, this uh, stuff, which include food and other commodities, uh, we are not saying that this is going to take care of everybody's needs, uh, but it's an intervention which we hope to continue as we monitor the situation. Uh, we think that uh, our people uh, deserve the better, uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, when the national government uh, allocates money uh, and money is being allocated to fight with the vagaries of the weather, that counties, some of those resources are going to go to, to counties uh, because we are dealing with the people directly and uh, every day they are monitoring what we are doing about their, their situation. We are here today to join the governor in uh, visiting some of the victims of uh, flooding in our county. As you are well aware, the situation of floods is uh, unprecedented in the entire country. 
and uh, CIA has been no exception. So today we were able to uh, talk together as a government and we are going to visit uh, three areas which have been uh, heavily affected and uh, therefore uh, we are quite glad that uh, the governor got an opportunity to be with us. We've been uh, doing assessments of these areas on a continual basis and uh, just the area who have been affected, we continue to give them uh, uh, support in terms of uh, uh, giving them direction on what to do, those who are affected, and also giving some uh, humanitarian and uh, uh, food and non-food uh, items uh, to uh, ensure that uh, they are put back in the manner in which they should be living. Uh, we have assorted uh, foodstuffs, including rice, um, uh, maize, uh, uh, oils, uh, edible oils, and also we have uh, uh, the non-food items, uh, including nets, and also water treatment uh, items. Uh, in uh, West uh, Ugenya, we did an assessment and about uh, 38 households are affected. In uh, Usonga, there are about uh, 65, and finally in West Imbo, we are uh, talking about 86 families. Thank you. Uh, it started flooding the farms around. So a lot of food crops, uh, maize and beans have been destroyed. A lot of acres of land have been destroyed uh, because of the rains that are happening upwards. So we expect that River Zoya will still be fluctuating, but we still must be on a, on a high alert because the rains are still expected uh, in the North Rift and along the lake region. Down here we expect backflow of Lake Victoria which will also affect or which also affects the residents that are living around. And therefore a lot of our families and households have been affected uh, due to backflow and overflow of both River Nzoya and River Yala. And I think on that basis I think that is why the governor is here and is going to lead us, way for, uh, give us way forward on what we are expected to go and do on those who have been affected uh, in terms of food and other materials. Kwa jina mi naituwa Monica Auma Olo. Maji imesha kuwa ikinivamia kuwa hii boma langu kila wakati. Kila miaka maji inanivamia tena hakuna wakati ninakuwa na amani roni. Kwa sababu kila maji, kila wakati maji kikuja inabomua nyumba, saa hii naongea na nyinyi nyumba imeja. Hata sina mahali pa kulala na watoto, mahali pa kuingia. Mimi nina watoto wadogo, ninaomba sirikali wa juu. Muni saidie. Hata kama ninaeza, vile naeza pata nyumba, hata kama ninaeza pata mahali kidogo tu, penye mnaeza nieka niishi. Kwa sababu kila mwaka, hii maji inajaza hii nyumba. Hata saa hii, niko na wakika, hii nyumba inakuja.